Hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today we've got a aeroplane right over here really cool setup for a laptop in this particular case this is the macbook pro 13 inches late 2018 with, with an intel i5 inside with this great dual display but i also tested out on a macbook air 2020 with the m1 ship and according to the company that manufactures this is the first kit available for the m1 that displays a triple display actually a two plus the display of the laptop but more info on the link down below so that you can read all the specifications and whatnot but it's not only for mac os it's for any laptop so i did test it out on a asus dash f15 model 2021 which is a awesome machine and had a great experience Now inside the package we will find the p2 pro um, screen kit we will also have a manual which will be useful for the first time that we are installing so i did use it although i hate manuals i did use this one so that i could check that i was doing everything just fine there are the cables that we will need to connect to any computer three in this particular case two are usb type c to two usb type c and one is double usb a to usb type c and also a transport pouch now looking at the kit itself in terms of build quality in terms of the way that it looks it's awesome now this this part right over here on the center and the one that it's uh, turned to the laptop it's all made of a rubberized plastic really soft so there will be no scratches whatsoever and then it has these protections right over here that are awesome as well which will adjust the screen to the laptop and will prevent to have any damage or any scratch or thing like this so really really well thought now here on the screens we will find a brushed aluminium uh, on the back and even on this part right over here it has brushed aluminium as well and then on the frames of the display we will find the same material this is brushed aluminium right over here so in terms of build quality looks and feels really really nice on the top right over here we will find a few buttons one is to turn on and off and then we have the navigation menu buttons we also have a button that looks like an eject and it's similar to an eject because when we press it it will open up and release the laptop and then we just need to adjust it once again now at the back we will find the uh, adjustment feet right over here or foot as you want to or stand to be more precise that we can just turn this wheel to adjust its height so we can have different angles right over here and then at the bottom we will have a usb type c connection uh, to connect to the laptop another usb type c connection if we want external power and then a micro sd card which contains the drivers for mac os windows and android in my particular case everything worked on mac os and windows unfortunately my uh, samsung galaxy s20 fan edition 5g did not work so there will be a lot of android phones that will work and some of them won't and i imagine that having so many phones on the market it's really difficult to know exactly which ones will work and which ones don't now the way that this will be assembled and used there will depend on the way that we use now if we are going to use it on a static mode and then we just take the laptop out and bring the laptop then probably this will be the first thing that we set up and just leave it there forget about it on the other hand if we are going to take it along with the laptop i do believe that the way that i did which was first the laptop on the desk and then the kit is probably the way that i'm going to use so what i did was to put in the laptop open the kit adjust it and then once it adjusts, we just need to open those screens and it looks really awesome like an airplane almost and it stays right there with the laptop we adjust the angle of the screens and that is it once we plug in the cable what it uh, will do it will read the card the micro sd card which is inside the screen kit and we will install the drivers in this particular case i did install for mac os and i also did install for windows and i did install for android although it didn't work i did install one thing that it's uh, extra if you want to use it momentarily uh, on a vertical position you can which looks really awesome as well if you want to scroll a page while you are doing anything else so really really nice and just to show you a few images right over there it has 
options on stream several options brightness contrast and so on so forth talking about brightness and contrast this is a 1080 display which i forgot to mention it has 13.3 inches with a refresh rate of 60 hertz so just have that in mind so great set of displays right over here now i did test it out on mac os as i said and on windows and on mac os what i did was to play some multimedia to see if we had any kind of latency if we could hear and see the movie or see the multimedia accordingly and what i can say is that a great feedback no issues whatsoever no latency that i did feel so really really awesome experience. i also played around with uh, finder windows from one screen to the other just to see if and great refresh rate at 60 hertz we will have no issues whatsoever on the windows side i did play around with the asus dash f15 which we can play a little bit more because it has a rtx 3060 laptop inside and i did play on the gaming area and although i didn't play any game at that time i did play around with gaming benchmarks and what it happens is that I don't see any kinds of delay uh, comparing to the normal screen on the laptop and although it's not targeted at gaming and things like that but we can and it's really awesome to see that it did pass the test and if we can play a game right over here then we can do a lot more one thing that you might notice is that the screens have a cooler color a cooler look which will look a little bit bluish a little bit greenish than the image that we have on screen right over here we can adjust a little bit more and this will also depend on the angle that we are seeing but when i was recording and editing and testing it out that was one of the things that i did notice nothing that would hurt my work actually i don't like warm light color i do prefer cold light color which i've got everywhere and right over here we will notice that a little bit but once again the camera will not reproduce exactly what i see with my eyes and depending on the angle we'll see a little bit more or a little bit less so in conclusion this is a awesome setup for someone that has a really aggressive multitasking work and when i mean aggressive is not by the word itself but aggressive for example so if you have a excel sheet right over here and you want to put some data on the other screen and you want to have your mails open on the other so that you keep on replying without interrupting your work and minimizing windows and things like that so this is just awesome i did in the past use a triple display on my setup which was awesome really awesome it increased a lot of my productivity at this moment i've got an ultra wide as you guys know which is also a great experience but on a laptop we are a lot more limited in terms of size so this is a great option for those of you that are looking for this kind of setup that being said i will leave some links down below so that you can check all the specifications prices and whatnot if the video was helpful in some way don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one